Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Singaporean Talks Money. So today, I'll be talking about my Tesla stocks journey and how it became the largest holding in my portfolio currently. So Tesla is definitely a hugely discussed stock as the parabolic climb of its stock price have made some to call it overvalued while some say it is undervalued and has huge potential ahead. I am of course holding a few shares in my portfolio and I do hope that it is undervalued. So on Twitter and uh, various social media, I follow Tesla analysts and also enthusiasts who share an amazing load of information as well as individuals who report on Tesla news. I do see the huge potential in its EV business, electric vehicle business, as it is currently the biggest EV manufacturers in the world. Besides dabbling in EVs, batteries and solar powers are also industries that Tesla has set foot and is revolutionizing. Definitely Elon Musk has a lot of other companies, um, but for Tesla, in terms of EVs, batteries and solar panels, that is where they are headed towards. So let's talk a bit more about my Tesla journey. I actually started the journey in June 2020 with just one stock. So, yep, how I wish I, that I bought more during then. That one stock became five, uh, which brought me to an average of about US dollar 197 each. And Tesla also got included into the S&P 500 after some time. Along the way, I read up more on it and realized that it is a really huge potential company that we are looking at. Um, of course, throughout the time period from when I first bought the stock in June 2020, I bought some shares every few months and also bought it consecutively during its high of $800 because I was thinking that it's going to go higher. So from the image, you can see that um, uh, usually I bought about one or two shares, at most three shares, and um, I bought in two shares when it was at around US dollar 870. So it was definitely shocking to me when the price dropped to US dollar 600 plus and even 500 dollar plus. As of now, my average price of each Tesla share is at 504 dollars and 23 cents US dollar of course. So after, this is after including all, of, all my fees because I, I bought uh, individual shares so the fees definitely added up. So definitely from the table and the graph you can see that I took the dollar cost averaging approach and I did lose some money on the fees because um, I uh, the total value of my Tesla shares is about $9,494.66 US dollar, but after including fees, it is $9,580.43 US dollar, which is almost a hundred dollar difference. So this is because I originally used FSM1 to buy, which charges about a US dollar $9.42 per transaction. And slowly, I moved over to Tiger Brokers, where there is free or low commission charge. So overall, I will still be adding Tesla into my portfolio along the way, as I managed to buy about one or two during the correction recently. I will be building up my funds, of course, before going in. So to me, Tesla is a long-term hold for me. And I'm really excited on how they'll progress from here and innovate. So I have to say that definitely Tesla share price is on like a sideways trend currently where it's not able to break, break out or break through. But I don't think that that's a factor to be too concerned about. So most of my losses from my Singapore stocks were reversed by my gains from Tesla and it slowly grew as I added on more. And currently Tesla takes up about 30% of my portfolio, which is quite substantial. 
So I still believe in index investing, of course, which is why I have a regular savings plan that buys regularly, monthly, into VT. And I also know how horrible I am at individual stock picking when I invested in the Singapore stock market. Definitely Tesla is one company that I do not mind putting more money in. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do comment below on anything that you would like me to know. Thank you.